We told you yesterday about Governor Cuomo signing the bill that decriminalized marijuana, which also means people convicted of certain crimes can get their records wiped clean. But just how does that work? How can you actually do that? Well, two on your side, Steve Brown talked with an attorney to get those answers today. Steve. The key question here, how quickly can a low level marijuana possession conviction be expunged, eliminated from somebody's record? Kevin Sadelmeyer is here to talk to us about this. He's with the Legal Aid Bureau. We've been under the impression this could happen very fast. That's because Crystal People Stokes, the majority leader of the assembly, said last month they have all the records already. It's not going to take them lo that long to figure out. Is it really going to be that quick? Well, Steve, we really don't know how fast it's going to happen. We haven't gotten the, all the details of the state rollout. There is supposed to be automatic expungement. The statute just went into effect. It's supposed to take effect within 30 days, excuse me. Um, once that takes effect, they'll start going through the records to determine, number one, how many there are, and number two, how long it's going to take. But just by the sheer volume that we're talking about and probably the high hundreds of thousands of convictions, uh, this is going to take some time for them to get completely uh, up to speed on it. Now, if there's an emergency, if there's something important happening in somebody's near-term life, they can kind of jump the line by going to court, right? There is. There's a new provision in the statute uh, under Criminal Procedure Law 440 that allows us to get a court order from a judge um, that basically lets us take that conviction and, and expunge it before the automatic provisions go into effect. So if someone needs it for something like immigration relief or federal student loan um, or a housing relief, um, we can get that sooner, hopefully, than uh, what would, would happen under the automatic expungement provisions. Given that there may be hundreds hundreds of thousands of these particular cases. Are we talking months, years? It, it very, we don't really know how long it's going to take, but just again, by the sheer volume, this isn't going to happen overnight. So people waking up 30 days from now thinking their convictions are going to be expunged, that's just not realistic. Um, we'll have to wait for the rollout to come down, but I expect this to take over the course of months and perhaps even longer, just given the, the amount that has to happen. Kevin Stadelmeyer from the Legal Aid Bureau here in Buffalo, thank you for talking to us about this really important issue. Scott, back to you.